in tropical waters around the world, there's a real heaven for life. The coral reefs, the jungles of the ocean, No other ecosystem in the world has such diversity and beauty as here. It is home to ferocious predators and unusual life forms. But in this seemingly paradisiacal world, everything is not as simple as it seems. We start our journey here, in the Seychelles. At first glance, these tropical islands seem calm. But under the water... Everything is completely different. The seabed and its inhabitants never sleep. Corals resemble skyscrapers, in which many creatures live. Some have the appearance of a plate. Some have a branched shape. Although corals look like rocks, they are actually colonies of tiny creatures, coral polyps. The reefs occupy only 1% of the ocean floor but they are home to 25% of all marine species. This emperor angelfish decided to clean himself up. He's looking for one of the most industrious inhabitants of the reef. Fortunately, there is no queue today. The striped cleaner wrasse eats parasites from the bodies of larger fish. The wrasse gets food and angelfish gets a tonic message, especially in hard-to-reach places. Soldierfish patrol their section of the reef. They got their name because of the synchronous movements of the school, resembling the order of battle. Unlike most reef fish, they are more active at night. Sweet lips seemed to have just been taken out of a box of confectionery. There are several varieties of this fish. Each of them has its own packaging. From pajama-like stripes to zebra pattern. But they all have one thing in common – large elastic lips, because of which they got their name. They swallow small fish and crustaceans with them. Our next stop is the Philippines. More than 7,000 tropical islands, known for their beautiful coral reefs. In the coastal waters of Apo Island lies the third largest coral reef on the planet. Its area is about 30 square kilometers. Coral polyps absorb calcium and carbon dioxide from the water 
and turn it into a calcium carbonate structure that grows with each generation. Old corals die and their remains serve as the basis for a new reef. This is how the colony grows. One of the factors influencing the shape of corals is the location of the reef. In a place where there is a strong current, reefs are formed more compactly and more densely. Corals can be very different from each other depending on the species. Some are sharp and some have a semicircular shape. The Philippines is the part of the Coral Triangle, the area between the Indian and Pacific Oceans, which is known for the most beautiful coral reefs on Earth. About a half of all existing coral species can be found on this reef. They can cover up to 85% of the reef and fight with each other for space and sunlight. Those of them that form a limestone skeleton are called reef builders. Each species forms colonies of different shapes, which then adapts to the environment. They grow only a few centimeters a year, but eventually acquire amazing shapes, resembling trees or bowls. Among them there are such names as leathery coral, table coral, brain coral, deer horn, moose horn, and broccoli coral. And this pom-pom coral does not have a limestone skeleton, but has tentacles with which it catches food. Feathered sea stars serve as an excellent decoration of the reef, making it look like a bright festive flower bed. Also, they look like plants, but in fact they are animals related to sea urchins. The reefs of the Philippines are home to more than 1,000 species of fish, painted no less brightly than the reefs themselves. Many of these fish communicate in the language of colors. A set in color, spots or stripes can mean something. A variety of creatures of all shapes, sizes and colors are hiding among the corals. The pygmy seahorse is one of them. The creatures inhabiting this colorful underwater garden are so diverse that many of them have not yet been studied by humans. There are more than 1,000 species of sea anemones worldwide but only 10 of them are home to 30 species of clownfish. Anemone's tentacles are covered with millions of tiny sensitive harpoons that shoot powerful poison upon contact with them. But clownfish have a special mucous membrane that protects them from poisonous tentacles. However, the presence of clownfish only benefits anemones. The fish clean it and drive away all kinds of predators, getting shelter among the poisonous tentacles in return. Clownfish live in monogamous pairs, but they can change sex during their lifetime. If a female from a pair dies, the male changes sex and replaces her, starting the search of a new male for proceration. Huge shoals of sardines swim above the reef.
Some such shells may consist of billions of fish that move simultaneously, performing spectacular swimming movements. This is their defensive strategy. When fish move together in one giant school, they look like one huge animal. This confuses predators. And if this tactic does not work, then the fish begin to rush in different directions, not giving the hunters the opportunity to focus on one individual fish. Therefore, it is much safer in a crowd than alone. This behavior is called a bait ball, and is usually the last part of the defense of many fish. Together, schools of sardines create an incredibly beautiful sight that divers from all over the world admire. But this strategy does not guarantee sardines 100% safety. This is the thresher shark, the master of hunting on schooling fish. This shark never makes mistakes. When hunting, she always uses one very thoughtful strategy. First, she swims up to the school. Then, she uses her secret weapon. A long whip-like tail that is half her length. With it, she hits the shoal and stuns the fish. After that, it remains only to eat the unconscious prey. Sipadan, a small tropical island in Malaysia. It is the cone of an extinct volcano, which then turned into a tropical paradise. Under the water, sandy beaches, give way to rich coral reefs. It is also a paradise for the green sea turtles. There are more of them here than in any other place on the planet. The steep slopes of the island are covered with corals and washed by strong currents. It is home to more than 3,000 species of fish, The sea fan is the net-shaped coral. He positions his body so as to catch plankton. Batfishes are very friendly and often form shoals with fish of other species. But not all creatures of Sipadan are so peaceful. Predatory barracudas are also found here, moving in schools in the form of tornadoes. Like all fish, they have a lateral line, a special organ on the body that allows them to catch the slightest vibrations in the water. Any change in direction generates a wave that passes through the entire shoal. This allows the barracudas to move together and not crash into each other. These graceful schools are a fascinating sight for divers.
Bahamas, Caribbean Sea, a tropical paradise popular among tourists. Here we can meet some of the friendliest sea creatures. The dolphins. Basically, there are three species found here. Spotted dolphin, bottlenose dolphin, and spinner dolphin. Dolphins are considered the smartest creatures on Earth after people. They have their own language in which they communicate, just like us and they, as well as people, live in families and take care of their young. But they also have natural enemies. The sharks. These are Caribbean reef sharks, the apex predators of the Bahamas. They usually hunt alone, but sometimes gather in large schools of 5 to 20 individuals. These sharks rarely reach more than 2 meters in length, but they are fast and agile predators. Sharks are essential to reef life. They maintain a delicate balance through natural selection by eating a certain amount of fish. Without them, the entire ecosystem of the reef will collapse. They are very patient with the many divers who admire them. However, sometimes they are not afraid to remind who's the boss on the reef. We know that Caribbean reef sharks and other grey sharks communicate with each other using threatening movements. The arched back and lowered pectoral fins mean stay away from me. Like all sharks, they have a sixth sense that allows them to perceive the world in a way that we cannot even imagine. There are special organs on their heads that allow them to feel electrical impulses from the prey's heartbeat. The electric current in the underwater camera can provoke the shark to approach the diver. But from the point of view of an underwater photographer, it gives a great chance to get a close-up shot.